Once again, the rise of modern has been slowly growing within the United States. But of course, the modern master we are looking at today comes from Japan, which is very, you know, likely because if you look up here, we got another modern master, Marissa. Now, I'm not saying that this Marissa maybe got inspired by Shudo, but like I said, modern is very common, I feel like, in Japan and on the eastern side of the world. But hopefully, let's see if this modern master DJ has what it takes to prove to you if you play DJ, maybe you should make the switch. And of course, if you like the content, please hit the subscribe button, comment down below, leave a like. Uh, if you want to join and get some cool emotes, make sure you hit that join button. All right, let's get started. So first off, we got him against a Guile, right? So round start, Sonic Boom, low key against Guile, there's two things you can do. Round start, jump, and round start, block against the guile i usually think i might do a round star jump and then maybe i'll just get flash kicked but if they do a boom like this easy damage of course it's always a 50 50 so just gotta think about what you're gonna do round start so he does round star block good perfect parry spends no meter obviously because you shouldn't really spend meter on perfect parry combos because they're heavily scaled good shimmy i mean oh okay you know what he did here you know what he did here so, yes, he did a safe jump, but he didn't throw out a button. You know why he didn't throw out a button? Because at high level, safe jumps lose to parry because they're usually frame one and then you'll get a perfect parry. So, he thought probably the guy was going to parry. So, he didn't throw out a button and it was probably going to grab him and make guy lose another bar. But instead, the guy was not going to fucking do anything. Um, and then tech the grab. Good, perfect coming out the guy flash kick right now you're in guile's world now he's back through you you don't want you want guile to be in the corner you don't want to be in the corner right yourself you don't want to be in the corner so i wonder how uh i'm just gonna call him shin i wonder how shin's gonna get out a lot of back a lot of throws out of this guile good i hmm. now a lot of dj's normals are not special cancelable right you guys need to understand this a lot of dj normals are not special cancelable so off of that crouching medium punch Round two. Right, he just, I feel like he maybe couldn't follow up, but also you gotta remember off of Modern, what might be a follow up on Classic might not be a follow up on Modern because you don't have the same buttons, you're missing certain tools. I'm still glad DJ has his knee on Modern though, I mean, God forbid they get rid of that. If DJ got, if they got rid of DJ's knee on Modern, he would have been low tier, nobody would have played the character. Good faint in the level three, right? Why is he doing this? You know, guy has a lot of HP. Because look at the drive gauge. Rebuilding, rebuilding. Now Guile's probably one solid combo. Well now definitely. Now Guile's definitely one one string away from just losing. And just like that. You should always try to manage your meter, right? You need to manage your meter if you're watching these videos and you're going to burn out quite a bit. You don't understand that managing meter is part of the game. Managing your CA is part of the game. Neutral is part of the game. The the DJ, right? Because Guile himself, unless you parry, you know, the, the fireballs, which if you watch my fireball video, you should be parrying fireballs, can do a lot of chip damage to your, to your drive gauge. I mean, look at this alone. Look at DJ. Already just took out an entire bar and a sliver. It's a more to manage your meter. Good throw has Guile in the corner. That's what you want. Now, DJ's driver slide, as you see, he's only negative two, which is what, so it's basically safe, but it also leads into a little throw situation, which the Guile's really good at teching. Messes up the flash kick? Yeah, he, look at that. He, he didn't get his flash kick, uh, oh no, he pressed crouching heavy, he pressed Crouching light punch first and then try to do flash kick, which ended up getting him counter hit twice. Base out the EX. Does the faint. Corner. Should be dead. Perfect KO. He could have did EX there even to, to verify that it would have killed. But when you know your character so well, you understand what kills and what doesn't kill. In situations like that because he had meter that he was sitting on he gladly could have spent it good perfect parry 
like I said, a high level, people are waking up with parry more often because meaties are just getting bodied by it. But of course, if they do, if they grab you, you lose the entire bar. High risk, high reward in a way. Go ahead, jump on the guile. That's the first fireball we have seen out of Shin this entire time. Good. Didn't level 3 there. I wonder why. I wonder, did he put in the input for level 3? No, he did not. So, I guess he just didn't want to spend the level 3. Nice. Now, DJ's crouching medium kick is like a semi-sweep. It does knock down, which is weird. Um, so, DJ doesn't have a really good confirmable low. But it is good for like setting up. Good, perfect parries. Good, perfect parries. Right, one combo from death. There we go. Closing it out perfectly. I mean, the neutral coming out of Shin is like something that, even if you play on classic and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to make the switch to modern. Like his neutral, his setups, right? Like these are things that, there's nothing a modern person can do, I feel like. Maybe, I don't know. There might be, like, maybe those auto combos might be something a classic player will have trouble doing. But there's nothing a modern player can do overall that a classic player can't. Um, Because no matter what, you can always, you can buffer DPs. You can always buffer supers for frame one for reversal, right? Because during block strings, if you hold back and they do a proper block string, you can actually let go of back and you'll still block. So during a block string, you can be mashing super. And you'll get it, right? Versus the one fight. This can, once again, 52,000 LP. Look at the meter management. 17 seconds into the game. Well, 16 seconds, I guess, because it's 99. And he's already in burnout. With no bar in the bottom right, he's going to build a level one. But this might just be a checkmate. Especially if he does a safe jump. No, okay. Yeah, not... I mean, a projectile would have killed, and you know, like at that, like you should not spend your meter like that right away. There's a, I know there's an NA player, I think, or Canadian player that plays Ken that count, that puts himself in a burnout the first seven seconds of every match, and you're like, how the hell do you do that? Right, Ken once again already low on the drive gauge, but doesn't matter. Shin has confirmed. This Ken doesn't. 52,000 LP. You would think he would learn how to block, but you know, blocking doesn't come with rank. Certain people like to touch a hot stove, and then I guess they like to touch it again. Could it be me, though? I, I'm a person that likes, to, that likes to learn from my mistakes, figure out why I lost a certain match, why I lost a certain game, and then go from there. But other people, they're, they, you know, there's a... Term called flow charting, right? Don't expect me to be a they flow chart constantly, so they're able to win against lesser players. And then when you fight a good player, your flow chart gets skewed because a good player, you know, is able to shimmy, right? A good player is able to shimmy you. He's able to mix you up. He's able to do safe block strings and back up. He knows when to di. Like Shin's situational awareness is something that's very amazing. Once again. Um, wait, so if we go back to here, what did, what did the Ken do? The Ken did wake up parry. So what does Shin do here? Shin doesn't throw out a button. He goes for the grab instead, thinking the Ken's going to parry again. And I guess to my surprise, the Ken did learn from his, uh, did learn from his mistakes because he immediately texts the throw. So my bad, Ken. That could have been a DP. That could have been a DP coming out of Shin. Not only McCann push you back to the corner, wall to wall. Look at that. Ken just have really good corner carry. And now you're in burnout. But what what do we know? Oh. Now DJ's level one isn't invincible. His only uh invincible super is level two. So it makes sense why he didn't wake up and one button super in that situation. Even though the Ken didn't really bait anything. Right, there we go. Good parries coming out. If you watch my gimmick video, you understand how to parry that. It's about to be big damage. Big boy damage. I'm assuming a level 3, right? Why are we level 3 here? Because look at DJ's gate. Almost in burnout. He lands his level 3. Now he has two bars to deal with, roughly. 
Now he's able to drive rush in, bait out the Ken DP, close the game. So damn impressive, man. So damn impressive. I love watching players who understand their tools, who understand their situation that they're in and how to bait it properly. But of course, of course, of course, what you all clicked here on. Um, double Modern Master, man. It makes me happy that there's a double Modern Master. I'm telling you, they should do a Modern Only Tournament. They should do a Modern Only Tournament. Just say, you know, just have fun with it. If the play style is getting a little bit more normalized, they should do a Modern Only Tournament. I feel like it'll be fun. Right, you'll get the haters on, you know, on 4chan. Talking about how Modern Controls ruin the game. Woke Controls. Good DI. But I think for everybody else, it'll, it'll be fun to it'll be fun to watch. Does a safe jump. Marissa doesn't do anything. The DJ just mixing her up. Good job, Shin. Puts her in burnout. Now, I mean, if he wakes up, I mean, if he does like this EX. Yeah, there you go. DJ is a tough one, right? Because DJ has a heavy fireball that does two hits, right? Where everybody else. Does one except for Ryu, uh, Denjin charge. So, it was kind of checkmate there with the Marissa in a way. If, as long as Shin played it properly. But, what happens when Marissa puts you in the corner, baby? She makes you her goddamn daddy. Yeah, no, modern DJ looks like he's not missing anything. Like, he's probably missing his target combos that are trash. <laughs> But he, as long as DJ has his knee, he's a good character. As long as he has his knee and his feints, his neutral is going to be good. <laughs> That's all he... And his back heavy kick for an anti-air, because DJ players hate using flash kicks. That medium is so... That crouching medium kick is crazy. Counter hit level 3. Now, would I do his level 3 this early? Probably not. Um... But maybe Shen sees something that I don't. Obviously, he just wants to control that life lead. EX. Look at the block string, though. Like, look at his block string. Boom. Look, like, look at Marissa's gauge. Three bars. Boom, boom, boom. Two bars. Two, one and a half bars. Right? Like, he just melted Marissa's dragon. Unfortunately, he doesn't get hit. Jumps the, jumps the command grab. Grab. Marissa probably got level three, I would say. Well, small level three coming out. Nope. I would have been mashing that shit. I would have been mashing that. What do you have to lose? Right, in this situation, what do you have to lose? You're going to get... You might lose already. Just do a raw level 3. If it hits, it hits. At least you're like kind of back in the game. Like, what are you going to do? Save that meter for next game? I mean, don't get it baited, though. Like, don't, don't be a bozo. Come on. Don't be a bozo. Oh, does the EX fake, fake or does the EX fake? Probably was he going for a grab? Yeah, but Marissa saw right through that. Marissa never DIs back. I think Shin understands that. Does Marissa never DIs? Look at that! Look at that! Melting the drive gauge, melting the health bar, checking in the. Marissa should definitely be parrying. Nice. So. So Shin messes up, unfortunately. I don't know why I said nice when I'm rooting for Shin. I don't know. They're both modern masters. I love all of my kids equally. Uh, misses the DP, which down a lot. Okay, Marissa. Come on, man. I try to give you some credit. I try to give this Marissa credit, and he immediately does drive rush command grab. Come on, man. Okay. Got the stance. Drops the combo. Good spacing coming out of DJ, right? Good spacing coming out of Marissa. Good drive reversal, right? So why does Shen use drive reversal here? Because Marissa's about to body the fuck out of you and probably melt your drive gauge equally to two bars as well, but at the same time, stay on top of you. Now, by him doing drive reversal, Marissa, there is space. He's able to reset the neutral. He puts himself into burnout. Doesn't do... Like I said, DJ players hate using flash kick as an anti-air. I don't know why. I don't know why DJ players 
Like a guile, you can't get a guile to not flash kick you. A guile will flash kick you even if you're crouching. If they if they if they see your goddamn thigh twitch, they're gonna flash kick. DJs, they hate it for some reason, and I don't know why. The only time he flash kicks is, is either to continue a combo or to do the thing. Level three, once again, builds up that drive gauge. I'm assuming he's gonna do a DI, because Mursa doesn't DI. Or maybe he does his shrink that just gets all. Oh. You know what he should have did, in my opinion? Is he has that block shrink that melts drive gauge. He should have did that. I feel like he should have did that shrink. Good jump. Now definitely melt the drive gauge. And now you're in slight checkmate. Um, not really, because Marissa has level 3. Oh, okay. Oh! Marissa's level 3 does go do projectiles. But I don't think this guy's going to one-button super his way out of here. Gotta react to those, man. You gotta react to those. Gotta react to those. The Marissa could have won that. Well, last she did it. So thank you everybody for tuning in. I greatly do appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe and comment down below. Leave a like. Uh, comment who else you want me to watch. Somebody said, hey, you should watch this modern DJ. And look at me. I'm watching this modern DJ, man, because that man told me to. Also, hit that join button if you want to support the channel and get some cool emotes. Tune in. I'm live every day, twice a day. And I'll see you all again in the next video. See ya.